Mais pour être transformé Mais non, je veux dire une Fourier transformation To reveal the hidden frequencies of the universe, mathematicians have developed the Fourier transform, named after the inventor Joseph Fourier. I'll make it intuitive for you. Imagine a rotating point on a circle, moving at a speed determined by a frequency that's at the heart of the Fourier transform. What we do is we take a point of a signal and map it onto that rotating circle. We then compare it at different speeds of rotation and see to which extent that frequency of that speed is present in that signal. But there's a catch. Time resolution, so how small we can divide the signal in time, and frequency resolution, so how precisely we can detect frequencies, are in a trade-off dance. You can't have both time and frequency highly sharp. That's the time frequency uncertainty principle. To improve frequency detection, mathematicians have developed new tools such as the short-term Fourier transform, which applies the Fourier transform in small divisions of the signal, the Gabor transformation, which does the same but normalizes it by multiplying by a Gaussian distribution, as well as the wavelet transform, which does not use the rotating circle, but adjusts its time window and its frequency range relative to the previous time point in the signal using autocorrelation. Other techniques like the Vigno Weyl distribution, which incorporates autocorrelation into the Fourier transform, which means that we extract frequencies at each time point of the signal by using the best adapted time windows for that time point. Or the Hilbert Huang transform. That last one does not have a basis for detecting the frequencies, it just tries to filter the signal to find a series of pure monotonic signals that make up a complex signal. Then for every smooth and monotonic signal identified, we compare each time point to every other time point in the signal. Each time difference is then divided by pi to emphasize nearby time differences. We then combine the original signal and the transformed signal and calculate for every time point the amplitude and the frequency for the entire recording. So whether we want to understand brain waves, radiation in space or music, we can understand frequency patterns in all of these recordings. And it is thanks to the ideas of Joseph Fourier that we can start detecting frequencies in the universe. Drop music if you had a few transformations. If you'd like to learn more about music and science, follow or have a look at the links if you'd like to learn with me. If you want to learn how your brain works and the art of musical emotions, come learn with me and fellow neurofans.